Here we go. Push the Cessna out this morning. Got her all gassed up. Bob in the pilot seat there. Got her running. I headed down the end of the runway there. Just uh, giving her a little mag check. I pull the carb heat out. Check the carb heat. Everything seems to be going pretty good there. Okay, we got the mixture full rich. I'm gonna shut my window. It was still pretty hot, so I left Bob's window open. All right, I'm kind of coaching them along here. All the way. All the way in. And these 150 Cessnas are notorious for shimmy in the nose wheels. You gotta find that sweet spot, get the nose off, and uh, just let it roll down the runway until you get enough speed to make it fly, and that's just what we did. It just, just flies right off. Just flies right off. As you can see, it takes quite a bit more runway than the bush cat does. But it's a lot easier to handle because it's a tricycle gear airplane. i got to shut this window. It's just but you get her flying, stay in the ground effect. And I did this with the Cessnas for years. You fly it around the corner. And then uh, when you get a little flying speed, why, then you can go ahead and start it up. I mean, we can get out from under that power line pretty easy if we have to, but uh, I like to fly over the top of it. You can see we had 90, so we were doing good. And we just sat there and rode for quite a quite a while, went up to uh, Galoo Island, and uh, out across the Buckbrush. And, of course, we get up there to Sackett's Harbor, and, of course, I had to take a photo for, you know, post it on Facebook. So here we are uh, coming up on uh, Pillar Point, Shumo Bay, and that's... Uh, that's Stony Island right there directly in front of us. And here we are heading down, uh, heading down the final approach course to the uh, runway on below. Nice little runway up there, 4,000 feet long. They got a clubhouse on the left and uh, outbuildings with all the equipment on the right. You see us chasing a shadow down along the runway there. Got a full-time uh, caretaker on the island. And just did a nice low approach. Got full throttle. Turned off, uh, turned off back towards Stony Island. And, uh, the mainland. Wanted to, wanted to kind of make sure that we had, uh, wanted to make sure we had uh, altitude enough to make one of the islands. Uh, you know, you lose the engine out there over the water. That could be, uh, that could be uh, inconvenient at the very very least but uh got her back over the mainland and we headed down uh headed down the shoreline there of uh, lake ontario uh down to uh sackett's harbor that's a good view of uh sackett's harbor oh my god what are we gonna do we're almost out of gas bob was sweating that out but i knew we could make it in any case uh, we headed uh headed down and got to where we could see anita lake we're 28 point nine twenty eight point eight miles from the field eighteen minutes from home and as you can see we got north bay in sight so uh... as we got a little closer we started letting down uh... out of the altitude and back home uh... going by the take the silver jack grounds and this is the entire final approach you can see we're lined up and i'm just going to let you listen to me yelling at bob to keep us from getting us killed here but he actually uh, you can see he's flying the airplane himself and we got the flaps on and uh, yep and get the carb heat on those uh, o200s are notorious for carburetor heat so you don't want to lose the engine right now that would be bad nurse it to the ground that's all are you going to make the field Think so? Yeah, I think you are. Don't no, it's not. No, we power, gotta have some power. Power, 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 power. All of the power. Right. Yeah, okay, we got her made now. Now flat, pull the power, pull, pull the power off, nurse it flat right to the, pull the power off. One hand, pull the power off, nurse it to the ground. Land it, land it, land it. Look at that. Actually, actually flew it right to the ground. Pretty good job this time, Bob. Good work. 